everyone, or whatever time of day you may be viewing. I would like to spend a little time with you today, and um, please give me your attention. It's uh, nothing traumatic, but I want to show you how I went about putting these big tires off the little Vega on this beautiful 67 Chevelle. Now, of course, I'd love to have a chrome 10-inch uh, Ford rear end in the back with the axles and the whole thing, but I am limited on my knowledge and don't have that skill yet. Uh, if you're a modeler and you'd like to help uh, me and you can do that, wonderful. I'd also like to have a, a nice chrome single axle front end under the front, but again, I'm not to the point where I know how to do this yet. So let's do something nice. Let's come on over to the uh, content manager. We're going to go into the showroom and I would like to show you something. Okay, well this is as good a place as any. Let's come right on in here. Yeah, come right on in here. But you got to choose the, the, the proper place. Okay, let's come on in here. Take a look. Okay, see this beautiful car? See what it looks like with the big tires? Now, of course I realize that the tires are coming outside the body of the car. I did that on purpose. And, of course, I realize that there's a great deal of no real axle or anything under here, but we're not sweating that. Kind of think of if you were a kid back in the 60s or so when we used to get these gorgeous uh, replicas of, of cars made in plastic and then we would take the parts apart and we would glue the parts together and eventually we would have these gorgeous wonderful cars that I used to just I just wanted to play with it I didn't want to fuck around for weeks monkeying with it now my friends uh, Douglas and uh, Timmy and Brad they would even take little pieces of string and make individual spark plug wires and they just, their cars were absolutely gorgeous when they got done working on them they were fabulous and then because they were Jehovah's Witnesses every so often their mother would come along and sweep all the um, wonderful models they worked on for the last year into the trash and say you're not going to get attached to worldly things so T sucks to be you, doesn't it? And they would cry, and they would jump up and down, and they, but they grew to uh, accept the fact that you lose a lot of things in life. And now that I'm 63, I thought she was a fucking complete asshole back then, and I'm not 100% sure that I'd think anything more of her now, but at least I do kind of understand some of where she was coming from. Do I agree with it? Fuck no. But do I understand it? To some degree. Now, with that said, I'm approaching this uh, whole time, and I'm not saying just because they were Jehovah's Witnesses. It just happened to be the fact that that's what they were, and that's the fucking deal that she pulled. I'm not saying all Jehovah's Witnesses are a bunch of assholes. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying, as my mother said, there's good and bad and all. There's going to be dandy ones and shitty ones. Anybody, whether you know God, you don't know God, but this isn't about God. This is about this particular type of build. Here's the deal. In in the upcoming vanishing point, which I might have to change to varnishing point just so I don't get fucking sued for using a, a copywritten name, wonderful world we live in. God forbid you actually play a, a fucking song in the thing that you get another copyright strike. Gotta love the fucking, you know, put a leash on and, and then just tie me to a stake in the backyard so I can shit in a circle, you know? All right, at any event, back to where we are. Sorry for the rant. The coffee's hit me a little tight this morning. Woo-hoo! Tasty, but whoo, baby. Hang on, Bessie. Is that foreplay? No, it isn't. Come on. Okay, here's the deal. The reason these cars all look like this is because they're part of this East Los Angeles uh, gang of Vato Locos, or crazy little fucking Mexican dudes, uh, young youngsters that just went ape shit. Well, obviously their parents are loaded with money, or so they're getting it from somewhere. Cause you don't end up with a '63 Corvette like this unless you're fucking filthy rich. But of course, people do make lots of money in various avenues of life. <sighs> be that as it may. So here's the deal: there's going to be a tribe of these rascals, and all their cars are set up very similar, because that's part of the deal. You know, they may I not into the uh, the ink and all that other shit, but let's just put it this way. 
as far as they're concerned, all these are very, very fast street legal, well, not legal, but they're street cars that also are drag strip running cars. Hence, the drag strip running uh, gear on the cars. Now, of course, I would love to have these chrome, but for whatever reason, they at least are wheels. Um, and I hear you can change the wheels to other things. I'd rather see a uh, deep dish Craig or SS personally, or maybe the American racing wheels that had the black spokes and they were aluminum. That would be sharp as hell. But I don't have that knowledge yet. So please don't come down on me like anvils from the sky because I don't have enough knowledge to do these things properly. Now, sure, wouldn't it be nice to see a big chrome rear end here? It would be dandy, but I don't have the ability to do it. So we got to do a little like I was a kid, you know? We got to get this thing built and out to play with. We can't fiddle fuck around wondering how to do things or all of a sudden three years have gone by and uh, I've got a drool cup and I'm in a fucking old folks home and it never happened. So let's not go that route. Let's let's get on with this fucking job. Okay? So what I'm doing is I'm making sure everything's happy with the builds. I'm coming along and I'm doing the, the lights. I'm making sure they have brake lights and regular lights. I'm making sure they have flames and flames, not just piss poor flames, but flames with gusto and, and they, they fucking barbecue pit, uh, grills in the back of the fucking thing. I got flames coming out this fucker uh, a go-go because that's what I'm into, exorbitant wild bullshit. So if you're looking for perfectly bone stock, you won't find it here, actually, because I don't do bone stock. I take bone stock and debone it, and uh, and that's the way it is, I'm actually. And that's the name of that. Now, you take a look at the, where the light's falling on, on the ground. Take uh, Hit the T, and look at this shit. What are we... Take a look at this. Now, why I don't know why it does this, but it's doing it constantly, and if there's a setting I can find to find out why the fuck it does this, I'm going to undo it. But we're not going after night crawlers. We don't need the light down there. Get the fucking thing up where I can see it. Now, actually, these lights are piss poor on their best day, but this mod doesn't have the ability to have the, the lights that open up. Now, I do have one that does, but unfortunately, the mod itself, or the, the car itself, does not have... Uh, I mean, this one doesn't have openable lights. The other one does, but it doesn't look anything like this. I mean, it's just pale, piss poor in comparison, but goes like a bastard. It'll outrun this car with ease. But look at how nice the interior is. I watched um, a video up on Facebook that Uncle M put up. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of words in it, but at any event, he shows individual lines drawn on an on an amorphous imaginary fucking world and he every single one of these fucking lines has to be drawn by an artist they have to be dipped down in and fucking it he makes every fucking thing right down to the to the friggin screws i mean this isn't putting the model thing together he's building the son of a bitch from scratch now, I still think God's got it on him by taking a handful of dust and making a human being breathing his own spirit into the nostrils and the thing becomes a living soul. I think that's going to be kind of tough for anybody to fucking match, ever. But I, I'm not putting Uncle M up into the God realm, but what I am doing is saying, these fucking guys are brilliant who operate the software that can do this kind of shit out of just a... Now, let me... All right, you say, what the fuck you talking about, Humble? Come over here. Let's go to the little gear, okay? Let's go to quality, okay? Everybody's happy so far. Let's come down to um, miscellaneous, okay? See this thing that says solid? Yeah. Look at the little drop-down arrow. Look at wireframe. Bam! Now I'm showing you what the fuck I'm talking about. Every one of these fucking little bastard lines is drawn by somebody. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Every fucking one. Look at the tires even. Every fucking line. You know how long it takes to fiddle fuck around with all these lines and make them right? Months, if not years. No shit, humble fuck, yeah. 
some asshole, I mean, somebody has to sit there and draw these fuckers and come up with a fucking Corvette. Are you shitting me? I'd have a better chance of throwing a grenade in the outhouse and getting a fucking Ferrari. You know, it ain't going to fucking happen either. But take a look at this. This is, this is, oh, look at this fucking thing. It's all these little fucking bastard lines. And then they skin it over with these different layers, and at the end of the whole deal, you end up with a fucking gorgeous car that Humble can fill a fuck with, and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So I take the, the hard work that people labor over for years, and I give it a little of this and a little of that, and I say, I've humbleized it, actually. Well, I've made some changes, but let me tell you, it compared to, without the original deal to work with, I ain't got shit. I mean, I, you don't expect me to put lines together and come out with any fucking thing other than lines on a paper. So what are we talking about, Humble? All right, what are we talking about, Humble? We're going to, I'm going to show you how we take a car and how we uh, change the wheels and how we set it up so the thing will be happy right off the get-go, okay? That's what I want to show you. So come on along with Humble. And I'm sorry for the rant, but you guys, I hope I'm not too loud. There, that, I didn't, this fucking thing, it's almost like a creepy girlfriend that gets too close to you all the time in the face. You know, right in your fucking grill. All right, I'm talking about the microphone. The fucking thing, I looked over and this fucking thing is poking me right in the face. We'll leave it alone. Okay, come on. Let's show you how to do this. First of all, we get out of here. Now, I'm going to tell you right off the get-go. The success rate of this operation has been fucking poor. So don't think you're going to learn the right way by me. You're going to, if it works, and I can put this video up, you're going to see a way, uh, albeit a piss poor way. But if it works at all, it is the way I've been doing it. I've tried to do the Roadrunners. They completely fail every time. I did a beautiful Gremlin. Failed. Uh, uh, George's uh, Spectre failed. Gorgeous to look at. Check, look at this fucking thing. Failed like a motherfucker. Look at this. Isn't this fucking gorgeous? Will not fucking run. Son of a bitch. I wanted this car in there so fucking bad I could taste it. Will it run? Fuck no. Why? I have no fucking clue why. It just won't. Some of them will not fucking work. I don't give a fuck. You could paint your balls green and, and sit in a tree waiting for a fucking monkey to grab them. And I got news. I don't, I don't suggest that any day soon. But it ain't going to fucking launch. And I have no idea why the bastard won't launch. So, but we're, we're going to try it again. We've got one right here that's a little different, but we're going to use this one. This one, run. Ah, let's make sure the fucking thing runs. Let's take it out and run it right now. Now, it's a piss-poor shame I can't leave the wheels on it and just change the rubber tires and then make the rims wider to accommodate the tires. I've seen other people do it, but I have no fucking clue how to begin, so we can't do that. Right now, I'm at baby steps with a bib on, screaming like a bastard, throwing my rattle at my mother. Bad idea, unless you want to get your fucking diapers warmed up in a hurry. So, um, I clocked her in the fucking forehead with a... Uh, Back in the day, you had a, a, back when we had glass and not plastic, um, you had a, a, I don't know if it held a pint of, of liquid, and it was glass, and it had a screw on top with a fucking baboon nipple stuck it off the top of the thing. I mean, you could probably hang from a fucking tree with that son of a bitch. Okay, we proved that the car works. Beautiful. Okay. So I took the thing by, the, I, I asked my mother for some milk. Now, she was sound asleep. Poor woman didn't get a hell of a lot of sleep to begin with, so I asked my mother for some milk. She don't respond. I, I, I push her a little, ask her for some milk. She, now, I'm about two, one, one and a half, two, two pushing, maybe three, but in that range, tiny child range. All right. I keep pestering her. She don't respond. I get pissed. Grab the bottle by the nipple and clack her right on the fucking forehead with it. Ooh! Do, let me tell you something. If there was not an almighty God in heaven, you wouldn't be having this conversation with me. She came unfucking glued. She, and I was, 
I, I never ran so fast in my little fucking scampering ass life. She was hot on my shit. If it wasn't for my dad keeping her from killing me, she had a knife. She was going to kill my fucking ass. She absolutely had it in her eyes. You are a dead child. She, she should have been born this time of day. They'd give her 500000 for a fucking harvested child. Dirty cocksuckers. But anyway, onward through the story. On the, I remember hiding underneath the fucking... Uh, I, I know one thing. She got a hold of the fucking uh, yardstick, and she beat the piss out of me with the yardstick. And I mean beat the piss out of me. My dad grabbed the yardstick out of her hand, and I'm hiding underneath the fucking uh, ironing board. I remember I was so fucking scared. I'm hanging on to the fucking uh, 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 braces underneath the ironing board. I can still see it in my mind today as if it was yesterday. I was looking up at the, oh, what the fuck was it? It's the foam that got old and cracked. It was yellow foam that made up the bottom of the ironing board. You could see it in between the weavings of the, the steel mesh. I can see that. I was picking at that. I was scared to death. I was a dead child. Whew. Mom came on fucking glued. And she was only like five foot tall. It, 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 she was nobody to fuck with, trust me. Now, Dad, he was powerful, but he kept his shit glued pretty tight. I've never seen him come unglued. Now, he beat the living dog shit out of my brother many, many times with his fist. Just beat the kid to a fucking pulp which was not, it was horrible. But I luckily, my brother was 17 years older than me and my sister 15 years older than me. So by the time I fucking came around, these kids were grown up and here's this little fucking new brat in the house and uh, they were supposed to love me, but I got news for you. I know my mother loved me. Yeah, after beating the fuck out of me with the thing. But you know what I did? Two days after she beat me with that fucking uh, yardstick, I grabbed that fucking yardstick, took it down in the cellar, and broke that cocksucker right over my knee. There. And I brought it up. I said, you ain't hit me with this again. <laughs> Boy, she cuffed me with her fucking back of her hand. She says, you son of a bitch, you broke the fucking yardstick. I'll hit you with anything in the house. What, are you going to break everything in the house? I said, no, I'm not. I said, all right, well, you behave yourself and go, uh, go where's your rabbit? He's downstairs. Go get your rabbit and play with your rabbit. Don't fuck with the rabbit. I said, no problem. We're good. Okay, I'm with a story. Or right, what story? What are we doing? I'm going to fix this thing. Come on, and you're going with me. Holy shit, I'm looking up for my mother now. All right, well, anyway, you should have seen me when I got to be over six foot tall as a kid. I stood up to my mother. She looked at me and said, You ever get the attitude you're going to strike me, I will knife you in your sleep. Get it? I got it. Couldn't we have a hug? Yes, let's go be happy. All right. Okay, well, onward to the fog. Where do we begin, Humble? Well, first of all, now that we've got... All right, let me show you the deal. Let's go back up to here. Now, you're not going to be able to see this good, and I'm not going to put the fucking thing up to the uh, 18... Uh, what is it? 1080p, because it fucks with my computer or something fierce. So you're going to have to strain and do the best you can, or just shut the fucking thing off and go do something else. But you'll notice here... These, all right, first of all, where are we? Where are we? We're in the cars folder. Open the cars folder. You're going to see some things in here, like Vato Loco Gang. Yeah, these are the cars that are done, all right? And here's the deal. What's this look inside, Humble? You open this up. You see wheels. Yay! But don't get too fucking excited. There's, like, the single axle front end is in here, and some miscellaneous parts are in here, and they're all KN5 files. So that means they can be put into a car, okay? Mustang wheels, and there actually are Mustang wheels. But they're in a different form than what we need. But if we come over to here, we see Chevy Vega. You open that bastard up, and you come down to wheels, and you open that up, and now we've got fucking wheels we can monkey with right here. See these bastards? Left front, left rear, right front, right rear. Now, I don't know why. I think I'm going to do it right now, as a matter of fact. I'm going to, I should have done this a long time ago. Folder called um, W R I T I N G. Writing files. F I L E S. All right, writing files. Okay? They're right there. So we're going to take this bastard, put it in writing files. Get rid of these fuckers, because I have to strain to see what, I, not. To, to make a mistake, 
by putting the wrong fucking thing in the wrong place. Left front, left rear, right front, rear, rear. It sounds like a plan. Okay, how do we navigate it? Let's take a look up here. Computer, got to have that. Local C drive, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Settle Corsa, content, cars, look inside, Chevy Vega, wheels. <laughs> Holy fuck. All right, so that's what we got to remember, okay? And now we're ready to go. Let's empty this fucker so we can start with a fresh can. Bam. Hope we don't need any of that shit. Now we come over to the little start menu at the far side of the spectrum. We clack that. We go to computer. We go to the C drive. Now, I don't want to go fast. My entire operation of this video is to go so fucking slow that even I, if I didn't know how to do this, which may be debatable, um, could understand. My problem with seeing a lot of stuff on YouTube is the guys are nosebleed smart and they go so fucking fast, I don't stand any chance. I mean, it's a chance of a fucking uh, guinea pig chasing one of my cars down the road on foot and beating the son of a bitch. It ain't going to fucking happen, okay? I can't understand these bastards because they go too fucking fast. So what I'm going to do, slow it right the fuck down. Okay, now remember where we are? Local C, open it up. We're coming to this program called... 3D SIM ED31T, provided by a friend of mine and a subscriber, your friend and mine, Earthworm Jim 90. Open it up. Now, we go to the fucking application part, we double click the bastard. Bink, we come to here. This is where it tells me in 17 days. You're fucked if you don't have all your shit done, or you got to find us and pay some amount of money so you can continue using it, which I understand. So I'm feverishly working my balls off to make, well, not necessarily, but I'm, I'm doing everything I can to get done with this program because I'm not, a, I'm not, perf let's just go on with it. So, all right, once you get to this fucking screen, hit OK. All right. Now, if you want to be a dick, you can undo this over here and get rid of it. We come right back to this, and we're happy. All right. This is where we begin. Okay, what are we going to do with this great big blue screen? Uh, not a fucking thing until we do something with it. Well, we can speak to it, look at it, poke it with our fingers. Nothing's going to happen. But if we come over to this first, if we come way, follow the mouse all the way to the left, underneath file, we see recent. Let's go to import. Okay, import model. Now that we're in here, we and because I've been here before, we have this long trail on the top that shows us where the fuck we're going. But when we get to cars, we're going to stop there and clack it. And we're going to come down here. And we're going to look for a car to fuck with. Okay, now, just to be, I'm going to try it. I'm going to go to the Camaro 1971 SR, okay? Double-click it. Now, let me see if I can get this to be human-sized and in the right place so we all can see it. All right, it doesn't want to. It fights me like a dog, but whatever the deal. You little bastard, grab. I want to see this fucking thing. Okay, first of all, see this KN5 converter? If you have any of my vehicles that I've worked on that I've forgotten, left one of these fuckers in there, take it out, put it on your desktop, and you've got the son of a bitch. Double click it when you put it in the text, in the right where it is, in the main folder of the car. You double click it, and if you do, it'll open up your textures, and you can then find out what the fuck's actually going on in there, okay? But in this case, we're not going to fuck with that little, con this fucker here. What we are looking for is the main blueprint of the car. And they are called KN5 model. Over here you can see that it's fairly husky. 40,218 cockbiters or whatever the fuck they are. Okay? So we want to highlight the bastard. When you highlight it, it tells you the name down here in the file name place. 
And don't start your shit because somebody who's never seen this before, this is a real help to, like me. All right? When I, when I first started, I was like that baby. I didn't know that if I struck my mother on the forehead with a glass bottle at a vigorous clip, she was going to flip the fuck out because I split her fucking eyebrow open and she's bleeding like a stuck hog and she's madder than a motherfucker. So all I can tell you is, <laughs> here we are. It's a Chevy Camaro. And if we want to use it in this program, we have to hit this little blue button that says open. And once we do, it talks to us. And the dialogue options, it says... This is checked. Keep object nesting. I thought it was a car, not a fucking spheroid. Well, whatever it is, we leave that. Now, texture map folder. What do we do with that? Who the fuck knows? But this one's checked. Temporary folder, and it seems to work once in a while. So we hit OK. Bing! There's the car. It's not the color of the one we picked, but it's the main car, and here it is. Oh, humble, we love the wheels. So do I, but I'm fucked. I don't know how to deal with the wheels. We're just going to have to live with it as it is. Okay, so where do we begin, humble? This is where we begin. Once we've got the car, we've looked at the fucker, the, the subject, and we like it, we come over to the far left and go to file. We strike file, and we come scooting our ass down here, amongst other things, until we get to save s it's going to say save 3 se hit that all right now somewhere in the bowels of this fucking machine where i can't find it to this day is everything that i've worked on but we start here bare bones naked as a motherfucker chevy camaro 71 sr unhighlighted so it stops clacking we look at it it's going to save itself as a sim ed files so we're going to hit you guessed it, save. Store the texture paths as relative. Who the fuck knows? It sounds good to me, so clack it. Okay? Nothing happened, Humble. I know. We're just starting. So what we do now at this stage of the game is we come over to one of these, we sneak over to one of the wheels like this, and we right-click it. And the whole fucking thing comes to life. But we come over to object, and these are all the different things we could fuck with if we chose one of them. But what we want to fuck with is this wheel, okay? All right. Now, we could isolate it and look at the wheel and store the... You know what? Why don't we fucking do that? No, it's too much. Let's just stick with the program. Okay, we've got the wheel highlighted. We come over here to the right. Now, we got a ton of shit we could do, and most of it I have no fucking idea what to do with it. But we come over here, and we come to this little folder. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The eighth one over says replace object with one from disk. Okay, here. Now it's, it wants us to pick the one we want. So we go back to cars. We go to look inside. Remember this trail. We go up to Chevy Vega, and we go to wheels. And now we can see right off the fucking get-go which one we're going to do. So we're going to grab this. We're going to hit open. Replace object in memory by disk object? Yes. Object names from mesh names? Uh, I don't fucking know. But we're going to do that because I've never done object names from node names. So I don't know what that fucking means. But this is checked, so we're going to run with it. And we got a new front tire. Just like that. But now, mysteriously, we can see part of the brake caliper sticking through the wheel. Humboldt, isn't it that way on the other one? Uh, fuck no, because the other one's all hollowed out, beautiful wheels. Well, isn't that going to be a problem? Fuck, probably it is. But we'll deal with that if whenever we get that far. But humble, I don't like these wheels. I don't give a fuck. I don't know how to change them. I, I'm not crazy about it either. I read of these bastards myself, but what are you going to do? So we come over here, and we highlight this, again, object, wheel, left R, LR. Come back up. Now we're going to try to do this in an orderly fashion. Follow the fucking rabbit trail. Look inside, Chevy Vega, wheels, and there it is. Second one down. 
L R left rear. Highlight it, hit open, say yes, and do it again. Now we got a big ass slick. Okay, now come over to the front of the car because we're gonna try to stay with the program. All right, we want the left, we want the right front. It's highlighted so we can tell that this is what we've chosen. Back here to the replace screen, follow the rabbit trail. Oh, fuck, you got to click it properly or it doesn't work. Don't go to this. Go up here to this. Now down to that. Now what do we got? Our third one down is a right front, uh, rear front. Don't laugh. I put the wrong fucking one on there before, and it fucks the whole thing up severely. Uh, and then if you if you make any fuck-ups along the lines, don't plan on this thing working whatsoever because no matter what you do to try to solve the fuck-up, it's fucked. It is not going to run. No matter how much you'd like it to run, how much you're willing to bribe somebody or whatever the fuck, it ain't going to run. You either do it one shot or you're fucked. That's what I've learned. So we come down to RR, which is the last one. We hit open, and we hit yes, and we do it again. Boom. Now, physically, we can see that we've got big-ass fucking tires in the back, the little wee bastards in the front. We have some kind of an issue with the fucking calipers sticking through, but how the fuck to fix it is not within my range. At this stage of the game, guys, we come back to the file. We hit file. We come back to that place that says save E S. What the fuck does it say? 3SE. We hit it. Okay? Now, because we've had one saved here before, before we fucked with it, we need to put an underscore, no capital letters, D-R-A-G, drag. Okay? When I put drag, that means I know that I've already switched the fucking tires. Hit save. Okay? Save it. Yes, go ahead. Now, here's where the shit, here's where you either make it or you fucking break it, right here. Are you ready for this? Now we're come up to export. We hit export. We come over here to export textures. We choose this. Now, what we want to do is we want to look into... This very car we're fucking with right now, which is this one, Chevy Camaro 1971 SR. Not the Spectre, but this one. Hit the little tree, open his ass up until, I, I didn't mean it, that, that sounded gross, but I mean, you, you, you expand it until uh, he screams. No, come on. Uh, back with the story. You get to the textures folder, you see that it's highlighted, okay? This is where we're going to send the new shit, okay? Are you ready to send it? I think we're sending it too soon. Do you? Yeah, I think we're sending it too soon. Hit cancel. Oh, fuck. All right, in this case, go to plug in export. Look at what we've got. We've got the name of the car, a subtle Corsa KN5. This is what we want. But we want this to go into the car. All right, there it is. Here's the car right here. Let's follow the trail. C, program, Steam, Steam apps, common, subtle, content cars, look inside. Chevy Vega, wrong. Cars. Camaro. Okay, it's going in the Camaro. It, it probably, that's, we, this is the Camaro it wants to go. And it's going to be in a set of course a CAN5 file. Now, we want it to have a different name so we can understand what the fuck's going on. So an underscore D-R-A-G. All right. We're happy. Yep. Did you pick the fucking car? Yes. Right there. We open him up so it's going to go there. All right. Here's the original CAN5. It's got to have a different name. So save the bastard. Now go up to export textures. Now open up the little bastard. Now make sure you know where the fuck it's going. Slap it in the textures folder and hit OK. OK? 
Babango were done. The possibility of this one working, we're about to find out. So let's close this little window. And when we closed that little window, all the tires became unhighlighted again. Yay! I know it. Now we're going to close this little window, and it's going to say, close this? Yes. Now we're going to close the bigger window, and we're going to say yes, because we're getting out of 3D Sim Ed 3. Yes. We're back. We're free. Whew. All right. Now, here's where the shit and the buffaloes meet. We go back. We open up. We navigate to the car. It's right here. We open him up. Now, we scrutinize, which means look very close. There's the original KN5, and there's the new one. So what we want to do, we want to copy this and paste it over here for safekeeping in case of a fuck-up. But the main deal, we want to highlight it and drag the bitch off into no man's land. What we want is the name. We want the name of this. Control C. Okay, we got the name. Now we come over here to the new one, the drag, and we're going to replace the name with the name of the original one. Control V, Bango. This is why we had to move that out because it can't have two of the same fucking name. You know about that. Only one squirrel can live in the house at the time. Otherwise, it's total fucking chaos. Okay? Now, we've got everything happy, but our changes are from that one, and now it's going to be happy, I hope. So now we come over here, and this is where we were. See? That's the touring one, not George's Spectre. We're going to go. Now, see what it looks like right now? Let's go into the showroom and take a peek at it. Boom. Here we've got this gorgeous car, now with these big-ass fucking tires, and it looks fine. Will the lights still work? Let's try. Yes, they work fine. Okay, at this stage of the game, what we could do is if we find real problems, like this fucking thing sticking through, um, or any other problems, we can address them right now. So what we're going to do is go to assign, align the wheels using data. Now this jumped right immediately to whatever was written in the previous KN5 file. Okay, this is how it would have sat. But since we've got these little bastard skinnies in the front, we can move them out a little bit, which is going to be a help to us because there's not a lot of rubber on the road physically. All right, but as, as a car, it doesn't look too fucking shabby. Let's just for shits and giggles hit the T and let's bring the lights so we actually can use the fuckers in our favor, all right? I want to be able to see what I want to be able to see when I want to be able to see it. I'm going to want to see this back wheel. So bring the light to where I can see the son of a bitch. I mean, it's just like you were in, in, your, uh, tool, in your shop. You want the lights to where they fucking work. Bring this over here. We're going to want to see this front wheel. So bring it down to where it, it works. And you got this thing in the way. Move that. You got to fiddle fuck with it because from different uh, angles of operation, we only really need to be able to see these two. So let's hit the T. Okay. Now the lights remained. So we can come up here and we can scrutinize, which means pay close attention. All right. Once we've done this and we're, we've checked the wheels aligned using data, grab the little slider and bring it so we have all of these fuckers to monkey with. First off, we surely don't want this digging the piss out of itself, into the, and it really does make a difference, believe me. So we want to raise this up, and we come over to rear base Y, because that's what we do. Now, one way makes it go down, the other way brings it up. So we want to bring it up so there's enough clearance, but not so that the fucking thing is, is uh, you're going to puke every time you sit in the seat. So we want to get it up there to where it's happy. We look at the tires. We know that we could use maybe a wee bit of fucking camber increasement, but we're not going to fuck with that right this minute because we're going to sneak over to the front of the car, and, and now we're going to 
use the front width, which is almost down at the bottom, and we're going to bring these puppies out a long ways. Uh, not, maybe not as far as they can go, but a good long husky ways, and we're going to take a look at it. Now, the camber really is not terrible, and the camber is set at zero. Now, look at all these original numbers. These original numbers are all zeroed when you start, and they're zeroed off of what the numbers were in your setup and in your suspension folders from the original car, which are stored in the IN, or KN5 file, all right? So whatever these spring to are, are, are showing you in real time what the numbers are that are already written in the car and what they do to the car, okay? If you want plug and play, this is how you do it. Come over to the front camber and just give it, you know, I'm giving it 0.77%. Uh, and let's take a look at it. Now, another thing, notice even though we moved this, these fuckers are stuck there. I'm going to show you how to fix that. They're stuck to the wheel by proxy, so we have to move these bastards on purpose because they're part and parcel of the wheel. All right? Now, uh, bear with this. So let's take, we, all right, I got to quit talking for a minute and pay attention to what the fuck I'm doing because I can't talk and do this at the same time. All right, it doesn't, I thought you were going to shut up. Anyway, does it look good to you? Is the camber happy? Does it look like we're going to have more tire on the road than just a piece of the tire, either the front or the back side? It doesn't look bad. It really doesn't. Okay, and now, Move this little fucker again. You may have to move it a few times. Is this the way I want it to sit? The, what, would I like it to sit down a little bit more in the front? We'd have to go to the front base and bring it down just a smidgen because we don't want it high buoyed, but we also don't want to turn the wheels and have them cut through the side of the fucking machine because it looks bad on the videos and people think I'm a fucking idiot, which is debatable. But there we go. We're happy, and we're happy with the back. Are we happy with the camber? It looks like we could go with just a tiny bit. 45 degrees. All right, I think it looks fucking perfectly fine. So at this point, I'm going to hit update. What I just did was rewrite on the CAN5 file in the car that we just placed there. Now, remember we saved the other one first in case of a fuck up? Okay, well, this is why. We're happy. Now we get this just the way we want it. We're happy. We like the looks of it. It's going to be beautiful. Now comes the time to find out if the sound bitch works. Now, uh, this is a little curious that we have no enable sound features underneath it. So this could be our first indication of a problem. So let's come out of here. Let's go to replace sound. Let's go find the host car, which I happen to already like, and it would be, where the fuck is it? Oh, I took it out, you stupid bastard. Well, we've still got this one. All right, that, that works? That works. I, doesn't it? Yes. I hope so. Hit, hit OK. Let's go back to CM Showroom. Now let's go see if we are able to get the fucking sound to work. Look. Hear that? Okay, we know we've got sound. Uncheck it. Come back out of there. Okay, wiggle the car. Hit escape. Now, this is where the bear and the fucking buckwheat meet. Will the fucker work, or will it shit the bed? Now, you wonder about my times. That car did a three-second quarter mile. Yup, read them and, read them and look. There it is, right there. It's a fast motherfucker. So, let's find some kind of a, of a skin that we like. And um, and we're going to be happy. Something, just anything. Let's go to drive and see where we're going to go. Let's not monkey with this particular course right now. And also, I see that it also went to the other fucking... Come on. Let's go to uh, any fucking place, really, that's just easy to go to. Uh, Le Mans 1991, fine. That's fine. Let's go get the car we really want, which is this one right here, okay? Let's hit yes. 
Let's see if there's any fuck-ups here that's going to cause us a problem. Doesn't appear to be that I can see. We're going to start at the pits. We're going to do a practice. Uh, let's do a hot lap just in case. Uh, no penalties. Fuck that. Let's hit go and see what... Ah, uh, wait a minute. Before we do that, let's come over here and go to analyze. No problems. Okay. Now let's go back to where we were. I'm sorry for the jumping back and forth. I just thought of that myself. Let's hit go. Okay. Now, with fingers crossed, jerking off a fucking rabbit's foot, after throwing rice in the air and praying, maybe not in that order, we're going to find out if our work was bullshit and in vain or if we've just got a new car. Now, I'm really hoping and praying that it's going to launch. It should launch. Nope, we're fucked. This is the exact type of bullshit I have gone through time and fucking time again. And once I get to the you're fucked part, guess what? You're fucked. I can't unfuck it. Ah, you rotten. <coughs> or excuse me. Choose, bitch. So let's come back here and let's hit this one and let's try it now. So, the next time you're a little critical about somebody putting out a mod that they built from wireframe scratch, you might want to go hit yourself in the head with a mallet. Because the amount of nosebleed, hour-long, week-long, month-long, year-in, year-out-long work that these fuckers did to get a car to run is fucking amazing. Now, obviously, this one works. Now... Let's slow it down as far as so you can hear me too. All right, simmer the fucking thing down to a crawl. When I'm talking about plug and play, you come to the, th you look at it right now, it doesn't need any fucking thing physically, visibly. We've got plenty of, of space between the wheel. We don't have to fuck with it. The camber's set, everything's set. This is how it happens. You go to gears. Now you can fuck with the gears if you want to. I usually run them all the way up, but we don't have to. Let's let's bring it down to regular, uh, somewhere in the line. I don't want to adjust every single fucking one. I'm not into that bullshit. It's not for me. So I just want to hit it one time, and I can adjust the rear end to a, a range from first gear being up to 102 miles an hour or first gear being up to 154 miles an hour. It depends on where I want to hear the RPM range as we're driving down the road. Because with thousands of uh, horsepower, you don't have to monkey with foolishness like that. Let's go to the tires. They're immediately set to the proper thing. You don't have to fuck with it. 18 in the front, 20 in the back. Thank you, Alex, from the extra mile. Uh, there's 77 liters of fuel, which is more than the car comes with originally. Now, you have the option, because this is zero to begin with, so you don't go around in circles if you're new to this stuff with turbos. I'm going to give it 10%. The arrows, three and th six? How the fuck did it get to be six? All right, it's three and three. All right, there was a fuck up. The alignment is one degree in the front, and it should be zero in the back, but I've got 0 0.8, which is wrong. I'm going to have to change that. Let's go to 0. Two. I noticed that yesterday and I didn't make that change. Actually, zero is really pretty much where you want the back ones, to be perfectly frank. So let's leave it to that. Now the dampeners, I still don't understand these fully, so I set them up to something that I hope would work. The suspension, we've got 64,000 newton meters in the front and we've got 33,000 in the back. Now, the 33,000 might be a little stiff, but we're happy. As you can see, everything is adjusted so we don't have to fuck with it, and we're done. So let's just go quickly and make some kind of a thing saying vet. Okay, and listen to me. We're not here to drive the car. I just want to show you that it works. All right, we're in here. Look at the dash lights. Look at everything. It's a gorgeous car. Remember, this is the car that every single line, like a spider's web, was drawn by some creative person. And 
now we've got this beautiful thing to play with. And then you got Humble, who brings real performance into the game. You don't have to follow a car for 17 fucking miles to get two inches closer to the back if Haley's Comet does a wheelie over fucking Afghanistan at the same fucking time, and maybe or maybe not, you could actually catch this motherfucker. I'm not into that shit. I don't want to be chasing some dickhead for 7,000 fucking uh, meters down the road to hopefully get within two inches closer to the bastard. I want to hit that fucking thing and go. I mean, I don't want to fuck with it. If we were in a race car, I want it to run like a race car. If we were sneaking around the backwoods with our fucking jock strap exposed, uh, we'd probably go to jail. But that's not what I'm trying to do. Now, that was weird. I don't know why I did that twice. All right. I think you guys got the idea. What the fuck keeps going on with this with the view? Take it easy, you got oh yeah, oh fucking I'm telling you what, I am definitely a guardrail bag. I can find them fucking guardrails. I don't care what kind of car I've got. Alright, here we are. 30% humble. Show us what this fucking vet can do. Alright. Show us what this vet can do. Oh, fuck. Oh, you know, that's another thing. The, the mirrors are the total opposite of reality. I got... Oh, I found it. Oh, I guess we found her. But at any event, what do we got? We got 30%. Okay, let's jack up the sound a little bit. We're going to start out in third gear. Not all, not all, fucking bastard. Not all cars handle equally, and this one isn't worth a fuck, unfortunately. And it looks suspicious up here. I think we've probably got a turn. And as a matter of fact, we're done. We'll stop at the bar and grill. All right, so this is where we are, guys. What the fuck is wrong? Okay, now, see that these are not where we put them. They're way outside of the car where, where they're beyond where we want them to be. That's a little fucking too much for me to, to go with. The front ones are nice, but the back ones are out too far. And it's not hard to fix. Let me show you how. And then we're going to try the next car. And then if it works, great. If it don't, well, it's too shot down the fucking pipe. So what we're going to do is go make sure we're in the car that we want to be in. We were not. Uh, as a matter of fact, where the fuck is it? The vet. Right here. Pappy's Black Mamba. Let's go into the data. We want to change how wide the back tires are. I mean, it's far spread out from one side to the other, so we got to go to the suspensions for that. Come down to suspensions, and this thing... I, I, I remember the very day I learned how to do this. It's called tracking. Okay, R remember the old Pontiac commercials, as Big Billy Kerner told me, about the tracking, okay? The tracking is 1.509, and it's too big right now. So why don't we uh, give it um, a 490... It was 509, uh, so let's see, 9 less would be five, 500, we've gone 10 less, 10 less, we've, okay, let's try that, just for shits and giggles, now, down boy, let's come over, to the fucking uh, place and take a look at it. All right, now we open this up. 
and amazingly this looks perfect, but this has nothing to do with reality. This has to do with what we were aiming at to begin with. So what we do is we come over to here and we come back to align the cars, boom, and now you say, what the fuck? That ain't what we just did. I know that. And it's also not what we just did now. This shows we... No, it shows us that I still didn't get it in far enough. So we got to suck these bastards farther back. Hit a line, and that goes back to the original thing, what it says in the KN5 it's supposed to do. So let's, using this knowledge, now we'll come back. We see that this is not right. So let's jack this to an 8 and see what the fuck happens. We're going to move the bastards and come down to graphical offsets. If anybody's fucked with these, what we're doing up here isn't going to show. Because this will override whatever's up here. This is the fine adjustment or the fine tuning of this up here. Just so you know that. Now let's go back into the CM showroom. And let's again go and see if this helped. Okay. Let's hit a line using data. Boom. All right, it looks better. All right, now, with your eyeballs, remember how far this is out, okay? Remember this. Boom, that's what we're looking for. So come wiggle the car, hit escape, and let's go make it better. This didn't work. So hit a 7. Boom. Now, what do we got in the front? We got 1512, okay? But those are skinny-ass wheels. We need to suck these bastards in. So I fuck it. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of the nine and put a four seventy. Let's see what this does. Parent. Okay. Now come on back. Now it's obvious that either I'm full of shit or we're gonna start seeing these wheels come back closer to where we want them to be. All right. Boom. Did it move at all? You know something? I think it did. Don't you? Don't you think it moved a little? All right, well, this, yes. Yes, it's not as bad as it was to start, is it? All right, well, what we're going to do this time is we're going to do a little creative fiddle-fucking. We're going to, well, I don't know if that's the right terminology, but we're going to bring these bastards to where we want them now. We're going to bring them right in nice. Now, see, we've gained adjustment by what we did that we didn't have before. So let's... Raise this up happy to where he is. Now notice our camber just went the hell in the on a hand basket in the front front here because of what we just did. The camber's not right, but it's not far off. Okay, let's adjust the front. Oh, wrong one. I what I want is the front width. I want to adjust them out just a little bit more so I can really see what's going on. I want to adjust this to get them fucking good and straight where they belong. That looks... You don't want to overdo it. You want them up and fucking down. You want to put a level on that and have it be level. If you want a drag car, you want it that way. If you if you want a fucking drift-o-matic or whatever the fuck, you can slant the piss out of it to your heart's content. I could care less what you do. But that for me, that ain't going to work. Actually, I think I overdid it. So bring it back just a whisker, or maybe two whiskers. What I want is 1%, all right? If you want 1% and you're tired of fucking with it, come over here, highlight the number, and hit a zero. Boom. Amazing, isn't it? You learn as you go. If you want 1%, put in 1%. And it looks great. Now the same thing for the back. We got 0%, and we're happy. All right, everybody's good. Everybody's good. It's sitting nice. We're liking it. All right, hit the update model. Boom. Now it wrote that into there. Now we could go back and check because it may, may be a lot closer in game than it was before. And again, it may not be any fucking different. And we got to dick with it until it is. So we're only going to go in, take a look at it, and get out and go do the other car, regardless of whether it's any better than it was or not. But it should be. This is the process that does work on a car that does work. Isn't that a rotten bastard that that Camaro will not run? <sighs> but neither will the Roadrunners, neither will the Gremlin, 
Uh, uh, and the list goes on and on and on of the fucking time I've spent trying to get these fuckers to run. All right, now let's just go right to play. Fuck it. And get outside and take a look. How, how do we look? Are we any better or are we still... Actually... What do you think? Still ain't right. All right. Let me... I, I know. Don't... This is how these fucking operations get so fucking long. Let's just go immediately to here, and we're going to make a, a drastic fucking change. We're going to go to a 430. Fuck it. Boom. This <coughs> sucker's going to move, and we're going to move it right now. As I tell you, I don't have the time or patience to fiddle fuck around with 7,000 incremental changes. Let's just kick the fucker off the side of the road and find out where the hell it is. And if we went too far, we'll bring it back a little bit. But these little nippy fuckers, I don't have the patience for it. I mean, I know that you want to fine-tune it and get it just right. But let's get the bastard in the ballpark. So let's find out what the fuck is what right here and now. All right, just go to drive and let's go see. Fuck it. Did that do anything? You bet your ass it did. Yes, yes, it fucking did. Absolutely did. See what I mean? You could dick with it for an hour and a half where you can get it right. Um, I didn't mean to. I'm getting too close to the fucking microphone. I apologize. But I'm staring at the fucking car. Now, actually, now remember, we didn't even adjust anything. It just comes into the game looking like this. Now, because I had too severely done the fucking camber, it, that's what we got. We got It's too much. It isn't right. You're going to be running on parts of the tires and they ain't going to run worth the shit. But the front ones look fine. Okay, everybody's happy. Now, obviously, we could bring it in just a smidgen more, which we probably will. Okay, so let's let's do a, a fucking 410 and call it a day. Now we're going to save that, and now we're going to do one more thing. Actually, we're going to get out of here. Come over here. Let's go to the setup. Now. What we want to do is we want to come to suspensions and we want to come down to alignments, okay? Now the front set at one, one, everybody's happy. We come down to the son of a bitch. It's set at zero. Isn't that a pisser? It's already set at zero? It's fucking set at zero. Um, what do we do about that? Well, you'd have to put fucking negative in front of it, I guess. And another negative. Oh, I'd say an 01. I don't know one. I, I fuck. I'm guessing now. Now I'm in the fucking a uh, new realm. All right. Fuck it. Now we've got to go take a look at it again to, to see if I really fucked it up. I, I am apologizing. I I don't mean these things to get so long. It's just that. What do you think the chances of me remembering this? Sometime later this afternoon, after I've got other shit I've already done. I'm never going to remember to come and do this. So if I don't do it right now, it ain't going to fucking happen at all. And I do apologize for the coarse language again. I, I might as well put a disclaimer out on my ass uh, for that. Okay, let's take a peek of Rooney. Now, now we're happy as far as that goes. These All these fucking wheels look really bad. All right, let's find out why. Fuck this. At this stage of the game, I, that's really fucked up. That's totally wrong. Just restart your session when you're outside the car. Let's fix this bastard and find out what the fuck we got to do. Let's go to alignments. You fucking son of a bitch. It still says that. Why? It shouldn't say that. Oh, no, it shouldn't. All right, let's bring it in. zero 
Now see, zero looks good. We didn't do the other one, so watch. Watch me bring it into zero. And actually, zero is as far as I can go. Oh my God, do you think I'm, I'm working on some other car? I don't know. But zero is still not enough, but I can't go any less than zero. Well, what in the flying fuck is going on here? Are you working on a different car? Oh my God, could it be possible? No, I'm in the right car. But are you in the right car down here, squirrel breath? Yes! What the fuck? All right, one, one. All right, well, the, obviously this doesn't do a fucking thing. So just put a zero to that shit. And uh, where the fuck's the other one? Right here. What's this look like? 1.0. All right, well, fuck it. Minus. No wonder it doesn't work. All right, minus one. Are you shitting me? No, I'm not shitting you. Let's uh, let's take a look at it. It does look fucked up, doesn't it? Well, how do you like that? Remember they were waiting? All right, that's good. Okay. We're, we're, we're getting, see, this is how you, how you do it. So if you, um, rear camber, yeah, yeah, that is better. It is over cambered. There's no doubt of it whatsoever. There it was. It's a lot close, wait a minute. Now it's wrong this way. That's another reason I want to see the fucking edges of the tires, because that's how I do this. Well, you can do it this, you know, you, this is, you, that's not what you want. You want, you don't want to be too fucking critical, but you want it to be right. Obviously, I kind of go by eye and make damn sure that it's lined up with the front wheel. So I know that it's, it's I, I can't get out here with a, a laser or with a level and find out exactly where this is. I have to kind of use what I'm given. And um, let's raise it up just a little bit. We're, we're pretty much done with this. Where are we? Raise, 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 right here. All right, let's, let's get it up to it so it's just happy. Now, as far as the front, I think that can probably come down just a little bit. See how the wheels move when you do that shit? So things move. All right. As a matter of fact, now, when we brought it down, we need just a whisker of camber in the front. Beautiful. you got to let your eyes be the guide, I mean, at this stage of the game. Are we happy? Everybody's good? Every Notice I didn't have to change the rear width because we've got it written into the file. Now it's happy. Boom. Okay. Enough. Now let's go and see if we can actually get a car to work. We're not even going to fuck with this. We're going to hope for the best. All right, let's close this down. Let's come back here. Let's pick a new car. What are we going to work on? All right. What would you like to work on? Well, we got a Volkswagen Happy Wing, but this son of a bitch didn't, the last time I used it, it didn't work. So let's not do that. Let's go to a car from the lineup that we're going to try to use. And so we're going to come down to Vanishing, or we could go to Current Workshop, or we could go to Casting Garage. The Casting Garage is where the cars get brought up to be, uh, as we hope for the best. Now... I don't know if any of these sons of bitches are going to work or if they're not. This is, I mean, I know that the cars run physically right now, but will they take a modding? That I do not know. 
But let's take a look at this thing. It's a 69th Pontiac Firebird. Let's take a look at the skins, which is one. But it's a fucking beautiful car. Do you want to try to make one of those things out of this? It's almost a shame to fuck with it, but it, just for the sake of shits and giggles, let's take this car, and we're going to grab him out of here. Well, let's, hang on, let's take a look. Bef I've already got a GTO, so we've already got that, the 65. Uh, do you, how about a nice boss Mustang? Now let's take a look at that, just for shits and giggles. Would we like to have this? I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know as I would. Okay. All right, we don't want that one high boy. Now let's let's take a little bit of time here to look at this, and and pick out something that we do want. Um, we don't want the 350 stock bed. I've already done the Mustang. Here's a Mercury Cougar. Let's take a look at the Mercury Cougar. Would would this look good in deep gold? Well, that's a sharp looking car. Wouldn't that look nice with the big wheels and tires? And we could even put a blower sticking out the hood if you'd like to. We could do that? Yeah, we can do that. Let's take this one. It's an Uncle M car. And uh, I talked with him on, on Facebook, typing back and forth extensively yesterday. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Let's not go out of our fucking mind. But uh, he, he's, a, he's a really nice guy. Oh, how do you not do this one? Humble, how do you not do that? Okay, you got me. We're going to do this. We might, fuck it. We're going to try this one. Try the Cougar. And if it works, you turn off the machine and and work on the other one. All right, go to cars. But as I say, I, I typed back and forth to Uncle M yesterday uh, or last night in the fucking nosebleed hours. And he was explaining to me his feelings about cars like this. And he said, I have found so many errors with what you're doing that, quite frankly, I, he didn't say he was ashamed of me, but he might just as well have. But he's able to build them from those little lines. So seeing what I'm doing to stuff that he's worked on is, is kind of like, covering your dad's brand new car with dog shit from one end to the other. It's hard for dad to put his arms around you and give you a hug when you smell like dog shit. You just fucked up his whole car. So this is where we are. So let's start where we're supposed to be. Let's go find out if the car actually runs to begin with. We should have at least that much under our fucking belt. If the thing's a piece of shit and don't run now, uh, we're pretty well fucked anyway. Let's start at the beginning. Let's do an analyzation. It says the thing is happy. Okay? We've got to believe it. Now we take it to the showroom and see if it has sound. All right. This is what we got to work with. It's uh, really pretty. It's a beautiful car. It's got fairly... I mean, it's it's here. It's kind of cool. It's... um. I mean, I'm not making fun of the car. I'm just saying this is what we've got. Let's let's get a skin where we can actually see what the fucking thing looks like. How's that look to us? Okay. Would we like to see this one as a drag car? I do the lights work. Let's let's cover the bases because why do a lot of work on shit that ain't gonna work? Let's go to the lights. Do they work? Uh, we don't have headlights. We got these little bastards. Do you really want to fuck with it if you can't run it at night? And how's the brakes? The brakes are good. Nice brakes. And in real life, when you hit the thing in the day, they went ding, 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 ding. They were really cool. And they sold a lot of cars just because of that. All right. Do we want to fuck with this? Well, if the lights opened up, I would say yes. But at this stage of the game, I'm not going to invest any time in it. No offense, Uncle M. Does the sound work? No, but the thought was there. All right, so we just saved ourselves fucking with something for no reason. What was the other car you wanted to work on, Humble? The one I didn't bring over? Yeah, the one you didn't bring over. 
It was the Eleanor. Well, go get the little critter, and we'll work on that. Uh, peel this out of here for now, rather than bloat the whole fucking place with it. Because <clears throat> if it ain't going to work for what we're doing, it ain't going to happen anyway. All right, come out of here. Let's go to casting garage. Let's go down and grab this Shelby. Copy, a copy of it. So if we fuck it up, we haven't done any harm. Let's go to the cars and place it in there. Okay. Now, if this works, we got one hell of a wonderful car to monkey with. So let's find where it is. Shelby, Eleanor. Look at that thing. How do we not love it? Let's do an analyzation. It says it's happy. Do we believe it? Well, we're going to have to. Let's go to the CM showroom and take a look at the physical car. It is a fucking monster. Of all the cars you could possibly want to make an ass kick and ride, this certainly, except for the paint's a little dodgy, is uh, is one of the real McCoys. And it comes with a, a tail light or a fucking license plate, so that's huge. Okay, let's do the test. Does it have lights? Bing! Does it have brakes? Um, what the fuck? We got an issue. What the fuck? All right, that's fixable, but we're not going to deal with that right this minute. So it does have issues. It has issues. Do we have any lights in the interior? Let's see if it's hard with the lights on, but I think we do, yes. So we have some amount of light to fuck with. So there's hope, and we've got wood grain that we can definitely make beautiful now that I know how to do it. So that's nice. What do we got in the front? Oh, we got lights up the yin-yang. We got blue lights and white lights. All right, you're happy? Oh, fuck, I'm dancing like a flying squirrel. All right, very good. So we're going to, how about flames? Do we have flames? Fuck yeah, we got flames shooting out like a fucking barbecue grill. Okay, we're happy. But we got a few of the essentials that we need. Now, it would be dandy to have wipers and fucking doors that open, but I got news for you. The fucking chance of that are like fucking blowing uh, sparks out your ass and not say, ow, that hurt. Okay, it ain't going to happen. So, what well, we do have something we can start with. How about sound, Humble? Listen. I hear something. It's a little low. Well, let's raise it's it. The RPMs right now are 440. There's a thousand. Seven fifty seven sounds pretty decent, or at least not too shabby. But it does have sound. Okay, we've learned a few things. We learned that we're going to use this car. All righty then. Let's take just a couple of peeks at, uh, there it is in silver, with the stripes. Now, if you don't want the stripes, I know how to get rid of them. And, and uh, there's black. And what else we got? We got white. This car really needs some loving attention. It needs to be made nice. Now, this isn't too shabby. This is one of the stock colors, and it's cool, black with white stripes. But again, we could do orange with white stripes if we want to, now that I know how to do that. And there's the gray with the black stripes. Uh, so that these are more or less the way it would come from the people. Now, see these, these little blue lights? I had to go in and replace these by cutting the fuckers out and, and doing them myself. I mean, I guess that's not the right way, but it was the way I did it. Okay, we're going to try this, So be, and we're going to try to get it done before I have to take a piss, which ain't too far away. So, uh, this we're just going to put in here for now. Let's go over to get started. Open the computer, go to, the, to wherever you stored the 3D SIM 3D31T, open it up, fire it up, they're reminding us that if we don't pay for it, you're fucked in a very short amount of time. We're agreeing. Now we're going to begin. Begin by going to X import. Import. We're going to go to cars. We're going to locate the thing. 
we're going to open it up and again it's got a can 5 converter in it so don't worry about a thing we're going to get my just i want to drag this up don't give me the hairy ass wipe come here okay is this it we're looking for can 5 model and this don't look like a lot it's only 19,000 uh pecker lappers or whatever the fuck they are so that's what we've got this is the thing we want right here is there any other ones sometimes there's a shitload of them nope there's got one I should now we look at file name it tells us what it is hit open it gives us the same rundown that does or does not work and there's our car all right now humble where do we go next that would have been what I would have said some time ago and I'm going to show you so where do we go next we go to file we come down to the save as a three, one of these fucking things, uh, sim ed files. This is the stock name of the unit before we fuck with it. So we hit save, and we're going to save that. Now we've got that much done, we're happy. So here's the deal. Might as well have an orderly fashion on how we're going to do this. So we grab a wheel. There it is. Come over here to the... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth one over on the bottom row. Clack that, and we're going to replace it. Now, remember we went to cars, and we went to look inside. We went to Chevy Vega, and we went to wheels, and we saw the one we want, and we grab open. And then we're going to replace it, and we're going to do that too. Ba bingo. Okay? Actually, that don't look too shabby. Now, we come to the back one. And we're going to isolate just this thing. Come over to the one that we want. We're going to walk the green mile. Go back into, look inside, into the Chevy, into the wheels. I know it's a pain in the ass, but I fucking set it up stupid. But this is, now that we're here, this is what we're doing. So, bungo. We got, oh, those are going to look ass kicking. Okay, now come back to the front. Just keep your head in the game. Come back to here. It's not a fucking hard process once you get the hang of it. Now, where are we? We're all fucked up. No, we got to go to look inside. See that? Now we go to here. And now we go to here. And now we drop down to the third one, which is right front. See, if we do it in an orderly fashion, the fuck-ups can be kept to a minimum. Because it, it doesn't allow you any fuck-ups. Any fuck-ups, you are fucked. It is a very unforgiving son of a bitch from what I've noticed. And it could be why we fucked it up the last time. Cars. Look inside. Chevy Vega. Wheels. Come to the very bottom. Open. Says me. Thank you. Now we've got them all. We've got everybody's happy. Okay? We're all doing a good thing. Now. Now we come... Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try closing this bastard right now so it's, it's, it's not highlighted. That might be part of what's fucking it up. I'm not sure exactly where in the bear and the buckwheat are fornicating, but there's a problem. So we come back to file. Come down to save SE. Now we're going to name it drag. Remember, underscore D-R-A-G. Okay, so that means I know that this one's got the, the wheels on it. We hit save. We hit save again. Okay. Now, since the last one didn't work the way I was going to do it, I'm, at this stage of the game, going to go to export. Now, we are going to go to the export the textures. Now, we are going to find the proper car that we're working on right now, hopefully, right here. We're going to open the tree, come down to textures, and we're going to hit OK. OK? Now, remember I didn't do it this way the last time? Well, the car didn't work either, did it? So now we're going to come back to export, or plug in export. We're going to look at the name. OK? We're going to find out where the son of a bitch wants it to go. Right here. See, we open the little tree. To, there's where this would be. We could leave it the same name and just hit save, and it's supposed to replace this. But by doing that, we lose the original one. If we lose the original one, which does work, we know it does. 
we're, we're fucked. So this is why we're doing it this way. It doesn't matter really what we put here. We could put a uh, wicker whacker. It don't matter, but D-R-A-G just seems to make it a little more streamlined. It is a KN5 file. We're going to hit save. Okay, now we're done. Now we back out of the program. Believe it or not, shut this down. I still have to take a piss, so I hope it works. But anyway, let's go on with the story. Let's open up this. Let's open up this. Now remember what we got to do? There's the one we want, and here's the, the name of what we want. So we want to take this one. We want to copy it and paste it over here for safekeeping. Okay, this one we want to drag completely off once we've highlighted it to get rid of it. Now we need the name of it, Control-C, and we're going to replace that name to this one because it doesn't know drag from anything else. Okay, bingo. Now, now we close this down. Now see, this is, all right, if, it, if this works, it's a 50% deal. All right, actually, I'm going to close the fucking program and reopen it just to, just for any anything that could possibly be a, a blessing in making this fucking thing work instead of shit to bed. Okay, now we're going to go find the little bastard right here, just like this. Go into the showroom, just like we have. That looks really fucked up, the paint job. Oh, it looks severely fucked up. I agree with you. Uh, to the point where we sure as fuck ain't going to be able to use that any day soon. But, look, fortunately, that's... Uh-oh, that don't look good either. All right, well, we got one that's, that, that was workable, thank God. And as we look at it, quite frankly, um, it don't look bad right out of the shoot, shooting gate. It uh, looks halfway decent. I don't know what this bullshit hanging down here is. Um, it used to be pipes, I guess. I don't like the looks of it, to be honest with you, but we're not going to fuck with that now. Um, uh, my initial thoughts of the car, we're going to fuck with it a little bit. So let's come over here and, and begin. Do we have sound? Yes. This is a wonderful thing. Okay, now let's now let's go into this and find out where the bear and the buckwheat are. Now, the, the, the wheels jumped out from where we thought they were going to be, which is not the end of the world. Grab the little slider so we can adjust things. Now bring them in somewhat, and the front width is not bad. I'll just bring it out just a whisker. And let's see what we got for height. The front height should come down. So we're going to bring the front height down, but we can't overdo it because it's got a real heavy looking nose. And the camber's got to be fixed, but only a wee bit. And we only got skinny little tires, so we can't fuck this up or we're not going to do very well. But I think we can go wider on the front. Oh, fuck, that's the wrong slider. How about wider? That's kind of what I was hoping. Like this. I don't. I can't go too much because I mean, when going down the road, it, I say, "What the fuck," you know. But truthfully, it it does not. It does better if it's a little wide than if it ain't. And it, this is no bullshit. It does make a difference. All right. How's that look? I think we could come down a little bit. We're at a pretty good fucking angle. All right, all right, leave it alone then. Or do you want this to be perfectly level? Um, you know, actually for a drag car, it should look like that, to be perfectly frank. I know you say, what the fuck? No, but I'm not lying to you. The drag cars they found in the, in the 60s was high boyed like this. The... the transfer of weight was fabulous uh, obviously you're, you would probably want it as square as you could get it but 
Uh, and this really destroys the front end of your car, so don't do this in real life unless you want to be putting ball joints in it all the time. But what I was trying to do is get this, this hood level, and it's just because I felt like doing it for no other reason. And we can bring back, bring the, the back down a smidgen. Maybe two smidgens. Okay, now obviously it looks like we could bring the front down a little bit. Where are we? Stick with the program. All right, now. Ah, I'm so sick of that fucking wall. All right, we're happy. Hit the thing. Okay. Now, heck, sucker. If I get a chisel, I'd get rid of that fucking wall. I mean, I'd cut the son of a bitch out of here. I wonder if I can do that. Well, if I could, I would get rid of it. It's just a waste of fucking time. Okay. Now, let me show you something quick. I'm not going to do it right this minute, but I'm going to show you how we would do it. Okay, when we turn the lights on and we come to the fucking little place in the beginning where you can originally work on shit, I'm going to touch this light and it's going to tell me the name of it. Name is run light. See that? Run light. What's this one? That's called run light 002, right? Copy that. Control C. All right, come on. We're going to go over to the fucking textures. Are we in the right car? Yes. Come to data. Come to lights. Wherever the fuck they are. are we, where the fuck are they? Right here. Okay. Remember it said run light? I remember run light. There's run light. Where's the other one? What are you talking about? Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Watch what happens when we change the name of run light. You ready? Control V. Okay. Now we grab run light with the other name. We copy the bastard. While it's blinking, we hit the back bar a couple of times and hit control V. Now, we take off the rest of the bullshit that made this different than the first one. And we're going to change that to an 11. All right. And we're going to save it. Bango. Now we're going to come out of here, out of here, back to here. Oh, you disgusting bastard. All right. Now we're going to hit this and we're going to hit lights. Humble. It works. I know it does. I just found this out the other day and it really does work. Now what about our brake lights? We've got one brake light, but we don't have the other. Okay, well what did we learn? We learned that if we hit the brake light and then we go to the other room where you can adjust shit and we touch it, it'll tell us the name of it. It's called brake light. Well, what's the other one called, Humble? It's called brake light 002. Okay, so we highlight this, go to control C, and we leap out of here, happy as a mouse, with newfound understanding. Now, remember where we found brake light? Yeah, where is it? Right up here. See it up here? Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to do this deal. We're going to do the name change. Come out of here. Now we're going to grab this fucker. And we're going to copy it. We're going to clack it so that it's highlighting there. And we're going to hit the back button a couple times. And hit control V. And now, we're, at this time, we're going to go back to the original one. And we're going to remove that so that they're different. And now we're going to put a 1 right here. Okay? Everybody's happy? We're happy. Now we hit this to save it. And clear them because obviously they're starting to build up. Minimize. Are you excited yet? I, I'm going to do something about this. That, that, that skin is fucking history. I got news for you. That one's history too. We're going to get this fucker squared away. That's fucking fucked too? What is the problem with it? 
well, that's not our deal right now. Fuck stick, get up here and go to lights and look at what we got. We got the two middle ones that come on, and now we got two back brake lights that come on. So we fixed the problem. So if the lights are off but the brakes are on, we got them, okay? Look at that, Humble. They work. Yes, by the grace of Almighty God, they do work. Now, here's the interesting part. Did I just bust my ass? Well, I did not really bust my ass. But did I really do this for a car that ain't going to run? Or is this going to fucking run and we're going to enjoy this in the game? Wait a minute, Humble. How come this part's fine, but that part's not fine? Come to the main screen. Touch this fucking car and find out what it's called. It's called Skin Base DDS. It's also called Common Paint. Well, the diffuse is Skin Base. So this is what it looks like, okay? It, this is what it's reading. The car's front. Well, let's see. This is GT. One way or the other, the car is. And this is side to side, obviously. We're looking down from the top, okay? Metal Detail 2, on the other hand, is this piece of shit, and this is what's causing us the fucking problem. It shouldn't even be in there at all. So, what do we do about that? Not a fucking thing right now. We're going to close this because I'll show you how to fix that if indeed the car runs. Because this could jeopardize the fact of whether it's going to run or not by fucking with it right now. Let's... Just for shits and giggles, replace this. No, we ain't going to do nothing. We're, we know it runs. We're going to try it. Drive the car. Uh, fuck the rabbit's foot. Just ask Jesus to please give me grace and favor and, and bless the work of my hands. We'll go right to the one who has the ability to make something do it or not and, and leave the bullshit alone. I, I'm wringing my hands a little bit, but we'll soon see if it runs. Praise God. Okay, now I'll show you how to fix the fucking problem. But it runs. Praise the Lord. Yes, Jesus, I do praise you. And I'm not making a circus out of you either. I'm just very, very, very thankful. So this is how we fix this problem. We go to the fucking showroom. Okay, we look at this miserable piece of shit. We come over here like this. We clack on it. We go to this metal detail too. Crack of shit. We go to replace this fucking thing with metal detail really. Or um, is there just a regular old everyday metal detail? No. There's a metal detail too. Well, why the fuck ain't there a regular one? I think that's a problem. Well, fuck. I think it's a problem, too. Well, I'll tell you how to fix this, son of a bitch. If there's a metal detail, too, and it's a worthless piece of shit, cancel this, cancel this. We've just learned something. We know the name of the bastard. So what we're going to do is climb out of here, and um, I'll show you how to fix this fucking thing. I, see, I'm good at this stupid shit. I'm good at this. This isn't a problem to me. Um... Uh, you sure? Yeah. We have to go to the fucking textures folder, open it up, and we're going to find this asshole that's giving us a hard time. Metal detail too. Get the fuck out of there. Go lay down, you piece of shit. And now we've got to find something to put in its place that's going to look good. How about chrome? Chrome? Yeah. Okay. Copy it. Right? Right. Slap it back in there. It doesn't like it. That's good, because we're going to name it this. Metal Detail 2. Control C. Come up to the extra one that ain't going to do jack shit. Control V. Okay. So, as far as it's concerned, this is what it fucking thinks is in there still. Hm, poor sap. Sucks to be you, because that ain't what it is. Now we come back into the game and see if we buffaloed this asshole or if it's fucking with us still. No, it's still fucking with us, Humble. All right, it's giving me a lewd rogering. Uh, hang on a second. Wait a minute.
there may be a reason for it. Wait a minute. Come back here. Where's Metal Detail 2? Come here, you bastard. Wherever the fuck you are. Right there. We know it's not what it is, but we're going to copy it. Now we're going to come over here to the skins. We know the orange one was all fucked up. Do you see Metal Detail 2 in here anywhere? No, we don't. Neither do I. So paste this fucker in there, and let's see if it looks like shit still. Does it? No. It looks perfectly good. In fact, it looks better than perfectly good. It looks really fucking good. Yay! That's what I'm thinking. So now we go, since we found out we did something happy, we go back here and we grab this son of a bitch, and we go copy, and we're going to go slap it in every one of these bastards. Just like this. We're going to straighten this bullshit out. And this is how... I See, I don't know the real way to do these things. I'm not that, I'm not that kind of a smart person. I don't know the proper way. All I can tell you is a way that works. And at the end of the day, isn't that what we're looking for? A fucking way that works. We don't... I don't know the scholastic bullshit. I mean, I just, that ain't me. I've never been that kind of person. So for me, I have to, if I want to do something, I got to do it a way that works. Now, actually, it looks fucking pretty sharp. I'm not lying to you. Now, what about the rest of them? How's this one look? Oh, that's fucking gorgeous. That chrome popped the living dog shit out of that fucking uh, paint. So see, now we've got something that not only looks good, it looks fucking hot. And not only does it look hot, but it fucking runs, and we got some ass-kicking fucking tires on it, and we did one, praise the Lord. And uh, there's the orange one that looks fucking sweet as a bastard, and then there's the white one that's uh, perhaps a tad, uh-oh. Uh-oh, what do you mean, uh-oh? Look at Humble. Wait a minute, don't tell me something. What are you talking about? What are you telling me? What are you telling me? Um, I don't have shadows on. That's shadows on. How come the front of the car is fucked up, Humble? You mean this weird white stripe that's the wrong color in the middle of the car that makes it look like shit? Yeah. Why is it doing that, man? Um, you're getting picky on me, aren't you? No, it looks like shit. All right, you fucking pecker head, I'll show you how to fix it. One step at a time. The gray looks nice. But humble, don't about humble me, fuck that shit. I'll show you how to fix it. You know how to fix it? Fuck yeah, I know how to fix it. I've ran across this bullshit before, and you're going to have a happy time. We're liking it. Okay, which one was it? It was the white one. And it looks like shit. It looks nasty. All right, let's, I'll show you how to fix that. Here's how you fix it when it looks like shit. We're already, we're not completely done with this, so come, leave it where it is. But we want to get to the white one, okay? Here's the deal. Couple things we got. We got to close this down. I'm so fucking happy that that runs. That we're going to take the skin base, we're going to copy it, and we're going to paste it right here. Now we're going to take the DDS converter. Actually, I can minimize this. We're going to open the DDS converter, and we're going to go to Add. We're going to add the skin base. And we're going to open it, and we could make a JPEG or a PNG. We're going to leave the JPEG, because usually the color's better. And everybody's happy. And look what we got. We got this white square. Look at that. Look at that white square. Yeah, humble. It's a white square. What do we do with that? I'll show you. Take the little eyedropper. Come to some spot that's, that looks to be normal. Click it. Grab it again. Right click it. So we got both of these fucking things the same color. All right. Now we come over here to selection tool. And we grab from one end over to here and delete it. We do the same thing, overlapping, wherever the fuck you want to go, and delete it. But because you usually don't get the very edges, that's why we're going about it in this fucking oddball sort of a fashion. 
because it's difficult to make the little bastard catch the true edges. So we're going to delete it, and maybe we'll do one more just for the fucking sake of showing you how to do this over and over again. All right, delete it. Uh, do one more, fuck it. Delete the living shit out of it. Okay, we're happy, we're happy. Now, save it. I'll come over here. Now, throw this in the trash, wherever the fuck the trash went. Okay, we're happy. This metal detail, too, is in the trash. Now, we've got this that we just fucked with, so we know it's a JPEG. We open up our JPEG converter, and we got to make the thing go back to the original form. We're going to morph the bitch back to where it came from. Here. Okay. Now, this is happy. Now, we open up our original skin that sucks. I'm just going to delete this bastard right here and now and be done with it. Adios. We bring the new one in. Okay. Now, we go back and take a look at the car with the white skin in the showroom. You ready? What do you see? You fixed it. Yes. There were artifacts in the white underlayment that we couldn't see with the human eye. And only by deleting the son of a bitch and making it one single color could you properly fuck with it. Amazing. Well, it is amazing. But now... Humble, if it was only white, why do we have fucking stripes on the thing still? I wondered if you would ever sh watch this. Now we come over here. We, cl I, I clicked on to highlight what we've got here. Okay? Let's take a look at what we got. Now we know the skin base originally looks like this. So we know that the purple underlayment, which is the maps has the fucking things in it. And 9 out of 10, no, the common paint is just purple. So we have found that the maps has the fucking things in it, all right? So what we want to do is we want to come back to the original. Uh, just, I, I'm, all, I'm done here. So what, what the fuck? Well, then get out of here then. All right. We, so we want to come back. Okay, are you ready for this? We want to come back to the texture folder. And we're looking for maps. Okay. Now this is going to be a little dodgy, but you're going to like it. Um, you probably see it, and, I, and you're jumping up and down because I don't see the fucking thing. Um... Is this it? This might be it. Copy. It might be. I don't know for a fact. Come out of here and we got to find out with visible eyeballs what this fucking thing is. So let's again, it's a DDS file so we can unpack the son of a bitch. Thank God. Without that thing, I would never be anywhere near where I am today. Yep, that was it. That's the bastard right there. So bring this over, throw him in the, in the shitter, right-click it, go to edit, and this is what we got. Okay, this is why we can still see those sons of bitches. So how do we get rid of them? I was hoping you'd ask me. We go to the little eyedropper, we left-click, we right-click. We go back to the selection tool, and we remove whatever we don't want by hitting delete. Now it's making it exactly the same color green uniformly. Just like this. Boop. Boop. See? Now, if we want to make sure that we don't have any fucking artifacts and bullshits, we can do the same thing we did with the other color. We can do one little segment at a time to make sure that this fucking thing is artifact-free and we're going to be happy campers, okay? Now we come out of here and save it. Now we've got a totally green unit. Yay! Uh, time for a shower. Okay, open the fucking thing up, smart ass. <laughs> I used to do this when my dad was teaching me stuff at the tool shop. And he had a great sense of humor. So 
every so often I'd get him laughing so fucking hard. He just put his arms around me and tell me he loves me. So if I'm a little odd like that, um, tough shit. So <laughs> now the reason we're not going to replace this one is because we kind of need that for the regular ones, but for the ones that we don't need that, um, I don't think we need it in the blue. So we're going to come over here and we're going to copy. We're going to paste this here in the blue. And we don't need it in the orange. Right? And we don't need it in the black. Right? And we don't need it. Uh oh, I overdid it. No, no, no. Come on, mouse. Quit clicking. And we, we don't need it black. Silver is. I don't think we need it here either. Did we do the orange? Apparently we did. All right. Did we do the white? No. Okay. So everybody's happy? So far, so good. And we did the blue? Yeah, we did. I think we're done. All right, fuck it. We got an extra one. What do we do with that? Don't give me any ideas. Uh, just for shits and giggles, we're not going to do anything with it. We're going to leave it where it is on the desktop. We're going to go take a look and see if this made any difference. Now, the white should have no underlayments. Do you see any? Look close. Fuck no. We don't see Dookie, Humble. How about on the side? All those fucking things are missing. Yep, they sure as fuck are. How about the black one? Just totally fucking black car. None of the bullshit. I mean, none of the accoutrements. Isn't that something? Yeah. It looks good, too, don't it? Fuck yeah, it does. Now, what if we go to a stock one? The stock one is gorgeous and has these beautiful things that make the make these work. You didn't remove those. No, because I left the stock one in the stock one. I only changed the ones that we're not going to want to use. See, now it's still happy. If you want to use the happy ones, we, we didn't get rid of them. They're still happy. And uh, it looks really good. Yeah, but do you think the lights still work, Humble? Fuck yeah, they work. They work like a son of a bitch. And the car runs like a bastard. And we got blue lights. Yep, and I can make them even bluer because I'll make the colors themselves blue. I, not just the fucking lenses. How's it run, Humble? Who the fuck knows? You're with me. Dudes, we'll go try it right now. But I, I got to take a serious piss. We could try a quick little ride in the car, but I got to take a leak. And I'm not horseshitting you. So have some water. Oh, yeah, that's what I need. But I will get this video up today for you guys uh, so you get to see what I'm going through. And I'm glad one of them didn't work so I could show you the frustration. Now, get five or six in a row that don't work, and you're ready to go out of your fucking mind. All right, let's just take it for a ride. Oh, it's raining. I wish I had wipers. Yeah, they're green. We'll fix those lights. I'm sitting too close. Hang on. Bear with me. Let's do a single racer and get the fucking guy in the right spot. See, with the uh, IR tracker, I can do that real easy. What the fuck are these things? I can't. Those mirrors are totally fucking worthless. I wonder if I can move them bastards. I don't know. Don't We're one thing at a time. Are you happy? I'm not overjoyed, but not too bad. I can't see shit. Don't worry about it. Life goes on. All right. Let's try to fix the, the fucking uh, wibblers. All right. I can't see shit out of that. Are you seeing anything now? I don't know where the fuck I am. I, where, I'm seeing inside the fucking car. That's a fucking, that's, oh wait a minute. Holy shit was that fucked up. 
now I'm starting to see see reality in a new light. Holy shit, was that fucked up? I don't need that, but this is good. Look at that. Oh, I, I can actually fucking see. Oh, isn't that sweet? BLM light, BLM car, guys. BLM car. Now, what are we going to do with this? We'll make it so it works. Look at this. Instead of not being able to use my fucking mirrors... Man, that can't be far enough away, is it? Watch this shit. What's wrong with it? It's fucking, fucking awesome, isn't it? Now you can tell exactly what the fuck's going on. Okay, everybody's happy? I can see, yay! Okay, BLM car, BLM lights, must be done. Let's get it, let's try it. so it doesn't fuck up the recording. You'll have to just pretend you can hear it. Oh, this has got some good... It's holding us a little floaty. Oh, it's, it's, it's nice, though. It's real nice. hitting the guardrail this time. until we blew the front wheels off the fucker. Well, oh, front tires all do hell. All right. It may not be as durable as we would have liked, but if we go back in time and take a look at that replay, I mean, not all the replay, just some of it. Now, remember, this is... Let's take a look, an analyzation of the thing. 
So we need more spring in the back because we're rubbing them. That's no big deal. <coughs> and we can bring them in a little bit, which is no big deal. And I missed the fucking thing like I have done so many millions of times, which is still no big deal. Now, I don't know what this is. There might be some types of artifacting, I can't tell you for sure. That looks a little suspicious, so I think there's a fucking something not right. Yeah, these can come in some. I mean, not a lot, but some. Yeah, they can, they can come in a good amount. It, you don't want it to look creepy, but it's got to be right. Let's take a look at these front wheels. where we fucked the thing up and um, we're going to analyze why and then I got to take it oh yeah it goes good slow motion slow motion all right well, I, I can, you know, you, you, can't, you can't blame the fucking thing for shit in the bed when it hits this fucking hard. I mean, come on. Ba-boom. Pow. Just fucking destroyed him. I mean, you it, what the fuck? It didn't stand a chance. That was a fucking ludicrous fucking, yeah, we're fucked. But how do you not be? I mean, it takes a, an amazing fucking car not to bite the fucking canary on a deal like that. I had 212 miles an hour, number one, we're, we're going at a good clip. Uh, we do have to do something, but it looks like a fucking chihuahua getting a tapeworm out of its ass across your fucking carpet. So we got to do something about that. But um, let me get rid of that thing so I can get a couple more good screeners. Okay, here we are. We're almost getting a fucking wheelie coming across there. I mean, we're nigh onto a wheelie. Oh, we got something. Lift off. Lift off, beautiful flames, beautiful blue flames, holy shit, car in the fucking air, but we're, we're ass heavy, boom, snap, that's all she wrote, okay, well, that, that makes perfectly good sense, you, you would expect it to do that, I mean, it would be unrealistic, it would be unrealistic if it didn't break, you don't have breakage on, do you? No, no, I don't. But it fuck the thing blew it right all to hell. But you gotta expect that. I mean, what the fuck? You're gonna chip your teeth on a deal like that. And this is all part and parcel. So, all in all, I'm happier the, as I could possibly be. I was gonna say before the thing crashed and burnt that at the end of this video project, which now we can update the previews, there will be a car pack of some type so don't ask me now about car packs because it, it's there will be one coming when the cars are done properly you know just like they are in the movie that it's coming out it really will come and they're free free just remember i'm not the creator of these cars i am only massaging these things to get them to a spot where they are, and I call it humbleized, okay? 
because I fucked with it. I'm, I'm, I came in here and I dilly dicked around and fixed lights like you watched me and set the tires and did this work. I mean, it's almost 10 o'clock and I started at uh, five something this morning. Anyway, not tooting a horn, I'm just saying, always give the original accolades to the people who actually build these cars from wireframe, not me. I'm just the guy who's getting these together for you so you don't have to do the work. There's videos for you to learn how to do the work yourself. I can't coach everybody. I can't, I, I can't now that there's getting to be a pretty good amount of uh, subs, and I praise God for every single one of you. Whether you ever message me or you never do, you're there and enjoying this. And uh, people, even in Indonesia, God bless you guys in, in Indonesia, are, are subs of mine. It's amazing how international this is getting to be. So remember, my goal is never to put down any people group, any persuasion, what you're into, what you're not into. I'm not out to cookie cutter anybody i'm just saying i offer this uh channel so that you can learn some things enjoy your life have some fun maybe a laugh or two and maybe you can learn something maybe you'll even find out god is real and you grab onto him with both hands and you and him become the very best of friends and you live forever in in paradise and all from a stupid thing is a knucklehead like me just sharing with you my life now, I'm not going to cut God out of my life and have a YouTube video uh, channel. God is a, a huge part of my life, the real God, Elohim. And I'm not getting into a pissing match with people who think it's somebody else. You believe whatever you want to. It's just as you've got every right to believe whatever you want to believe as I do. I'm not infringing on you, and I'm going to give you the finger if you try to fuck with me. So that's the way it is. Back to the cars. There will be a car pack. I do appreciate my subs. I got to go take a scream and piss, so I'm out of here. Uh, bye bye, guys. Uh -huh.